Hey everyone, John here, and today I am continuing our Stencil Endless Runner tutorial. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make a group for our enemies, because that's uh, we're going to make our enemies hurt our player today. So we're going to click on the settings up here and then create a new group. And this group is going to be called Enemies. Good. And it's going to collide with Players and Tiles. That's good. So now we're going to go to our actor types and open up our three enemies just by double clicking them. Whoops, not player. <laughs> Player's not an enemy. There and there. So on Big Spike, then we're going to go to Properties, Group, Enemies. Same thing on the bird. And finally, same thing on the small spike. All right, so. We already made our enemies move left towards us on in our first video. So now we're going to make the enemies hurt the player. All right, so we're going to go to our player. I'm going to say in the uh, events. I'm going to add event. Collisions. Member of group. So I'm going to rename this to hit by enemy. I could have even called it hit, but that's fine. All right, hit by enemy. So when self hits an actor of enemies, then this is going to run. So for now, yep, let's just kill self. Just uh, kill the player. So search kill, grab out a kill, kill self, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna test that to make sure it works, it should work. And then I think we will, then we'll make the game restart so it's not just we have to relaunch it every time, and then we'll make move on to the next system. All right, so I'm listening to compiling. All right, so I can still jump, have my double jump. The enemy comes. Okay, so I need to see why it's not getting hit. Oh, I think I know why. Our player, we need to go into the properties of our player. The group is actors, we want it to be group players. Because remember, in our enemy group, we said that it only collides with players and tiles. So tiles being the ground and the players group. We didn't set our player to the players group, so. That is a important thing to change. All right, now it should work. Still can jump. Tile collisions is working properly. And then the enemy comes and boom, perfect. All right, okay. So what we are going to do now is we're just going to make a simple restart. So just say, uh, search for cross. Yep, er, no, I'll do a fade, or er, uh, fade. There we go. So reload, right here, reload and fade out for two seconds using black is fine and fade in for two seconds and then I like to do a little screen shake to provide some feedback to the player that they've been hit so I think I'm gonna do 0 0.5 seconds with an intensity of 0 0.5 that way it's just a little sort of just a little shake and then it just gives a little bit of feedback because I don't want to shake the screen a ton that'd be sort of weird Right, test this. Should be good. Boom. All right, I think that's good. Might even do two five and two five. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make a better background. So if you go to dashboard and backgrounds, we're going to click here to create one. I'm just gonna call it clouds and I'm gonna hit create. I'm gonna add a frame, scale 1x, choose the image. All right, I've chosen the image. It's this nice little clouds background that I've made and I will upload it to, uh, I'll upload it to the file that you can download, the folder, sorry. All right, so I'm gonna hit add. All right, so this is perfect. And I noticed that I didn't shade this part right here, but I'll make sure the file that I post has the shaded on it. 
the shading, sorry. All right, so the horizontal scroll speed left, and I'm gonna just try five, that might be too much, and it's a repeat background, and that's fine. So I'm gonna hit test game. Oops, sorry, I forgot to add it to the level. Probably gonna wanna do that. All right, so I'll wait for this to compile and I'll close it. All right, so I'm going to hit this plus sign here and add a new background layer. I'm gonna add the clouds. And I'm gonna hit the down arrow to move it down. All right, so that's probably gonna look a little bit better than our little other background that we're using. All right, so I'm gonna hit test game. And then as soon as it compiles, you'll see if we did it right, which I hope we did, that it should just look like it's scrolling. It just adds a little bit more realism to our game. Yep, perfect. That might be a little bit slow, but that is correct. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit slow. All right, I'm going to make it, I'm gonna try 10. All right, you can change the number how you like. Um, as long as it's 10 and left and repeat background. So otherwise it will uh, just end eventually. All right, that looks a bit better, I'd say. All right, yeah, I definitely think that adds something to the game. All right, now, I think now we are going to make the coins. So we're gonna make the coins do stuff. So like we had in our, uh, it was like we had in our in our level, we had the event to spawn the enemies. We're gonna do something similar for the coins. So I'm going to right click and duplicate it. And then I'm going to rename this to spawn coins. And it's gonna be a set number of times, so I don't need spawn time. I'll say every, let's see, enemies. I'll do every 10 seconds since coins seem to be a little bit rare. All right, so then I don't need this rand stuff, but I will keep the rand, the bird code here to drag that out and the rest is good so instead of bird i'm going to create a coin at 640 and then the same value was good and that should be good for that and we are going to now we are going to go into settings and create a new group and we're going to call this uh i'll call it uh i'll just call it items and i'm going to hit create it's gonna flag with players, nothing else, just players. Say okay. All right, and then, so now we have our items. So we are going to go to the coin and set it to be part of the items group. It's probably an important part of this process. All right, and now in our player, in our player's events, that's weird, I'll just remove that. All right, so in our player's events, sorry, events, I'm gonna add event, another collision event for a member of group, and I'm going to rename this to hit by item. And so when self hits an item, then we're gonna run this code. So we're gonna go to game attributes and make a new game attribute. This one's gonna be called score, and it's going to be a number starting at zero. Again, if it doesn't show up, you can just hit control R, that will reload it. To here score all right so we're going every time that self hits an item we are going to set score to score then you go into math plus so score so set score to score plus we'll say 100 or er, 1000 set score to score plus a thousand so each coin will be worth a thousand all right and I think the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the game get harder as it goes. So we'll go back to our level. Actually, first let's test our coins, make sure the coins work. Uh, you won't be able to... Actually, no, we're going to have to make it so that when the player hits the coins, the, it kills the coins. All right, so kill. So, close this out. so kill, not self. We want to kill the actor group that we hit. So we'll try that. 
So you won't be able to see the score right now, but we'll be able to make sure that it's colliding and that this code is running because we haven't set, made anything to display the score yet. All right, so one thing we forgot to do is we forgot to give the coin our go left behavior, so that's probably important. So just go to coin, behaviors, and then add our go left behavior. All right, so test it. Should spawn every time our enemy, our, uh, enemy spawns, and it has gravity still. So we'll just go to physics. Cannot be pushed. Cannot rotate. Oh, forgot to set it to normal. Then gravity no. Then cannot be pushed. So that should that should work. All right, testing that. Perfect, we can get it, Oop. and it hits our uh, player. We should probably make our player, uh, yeah. all right. What we'll do to fix that is go into collision and make it a sensor so it doesn't actually hit the uh, player. It'll just uh, collide and then go away. All right, testing it should work. Yep, the coin spawns. Yep, the bird got me. Looks like the bird was carrying the coin soda. All right, but yeah, so the coin does disappear still, and it doesn't push the player over anymore. Perfect. All right, I think that'll do for this video. Um, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any suggestions of things I should do uh, in future videos. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.